What's up everyone and today we have another viewer submitted video. Uh, this video comes from our friend DisgustPaid. He's in same clan as me which is Donger. Uh, and he submitted this video after I had mentioned to him that I was looking for some amazing replays and he thought of this one. It is him playing the Waffle 4, is what I call it, uh, in what many people end up calling it, and it's the Tier 9 Waffentrager E100 line tank, TD, actually, uh, and it's fairly good, uh, it's got good speed, and it's fairly stealthy, and you see here, takes a blind shot on the hopes that he lands a shot. The guys are out of his draw distance, but he was hoping, based on where they were on the map and what he can see, he was hoping to land a shot. But, he, the reason he submitted this one was he thought it was a fairly good replay damage-wise, and he said the entire time towards the end he, he was sweating bullets and his heart was racing it was a close ending but we'll see that here together and let's see what he ends up being able to pull off with this fantastic tier 9 TD you see here he's taking a traditional position which is fairly good for tanks with decent gun depression. This one has okay gun depression. We see here, he's got a shot on T-54 Mod 1. But he doesn't hit him, he bounces. And then he just gets disintegrated by everyone else. So... Um... <laughs> That mod 1 didn't really live very long, but hopefully we can have the rest of their team just disintegrate, right? So, right now they're up by two tanks. Everyone's still alive on their team, and let's hope that it stays like that, because you always hope that y your team ends up just demolishing. But at the same time, hope they some of them die just so that you can get more damage. At least I do. But he's still covering that way. Hopefully they light some and get some damage out. And track damage. It looked like still nothing. Still no damage. And we're already over three minutes into the battle. Oh, there's another mod one. Nice, solid hit right there. And we got... Oh, the mod one's still sitting there. Oh, he's got a shot on the object. Nice hit. Now he's got them targets just popping up like nothing. Like they're nothing. Tortoise, nice solid hit to the tortoise. So that's three in a row. Let's see if he can keep it going. Nice. That's gotta be close to 2,000 damage already. And it's still most of their team still up. Watching this replay makes me want to get one of these. but it looks like he's probably got a fairly decent crew. The fact that he's he's in camo, but the thing is, he's still not getting lit. So, to me, that signifies he probably has a, at least two, two per crew. So, we see him pushing up here. Trying to get some shots. Let's see what he can gather, what he can get from the enemy team. His, te his team is only up by one tank now. 
and so let's see what you can do looks like maybe some of them coming back to try and stop them from capping but let's watch and see what happens Another waffle. Nice solid hit. Oh, but he's lit. This thing, if you don't know, has very paper armor. I'm pretty sure if this thing didn't fire back, uh, T1 Cunningham could probably kill this. Because the turret is just paper. Oh, he almost had a shot on the 704, but. Oh, they're all behind the buildings. And the Pershing is in a gully, so he's got no shot on him. So he decides he's going to reposition. Not to mention, I think he notices that his base is wide open. So they could start capping at any time now. Oh, oh. Oh, he had a shot, but he ends up missing. Is he going to blind fire? He does. I don't know if he hits it, but... Maybe we'll find out later if he end up hitting it. Seems like that Persian... Yep, the Persian got killed by the Jag Tiger, so... It's a little less threatening on their cap, but... So, now they're tied up. Oh, sorry. Make that they're down by one now. Whoa, their whole team is over there. Uh-oh. And now they're down by two. It's not looking so good. But. Especially since he, we really don't know what their healths were. Because... They weren't spotted. I do not know if he uses mods. There, I mean, even some mods are, uh, will let you know what kind of health you do have, uh, what kind of health they were last spotted with. So, it's possible he knows that info, but it looks like he's moving around to try and group up with the Artie get some extra support over here. Let's see what he can do. He's so far has no kills but a lot of damage done. It's not about those kill secures people. It's about those that damage, at least in my eyes. But based on what a lot of people are telling me is you want to make sure you actually get at least one kill if you want to keep increasing your win eight. Damage is key, but you need to get at least one kill in order to get a decent amount of win eight. So the f that's the E4. Is he gonna get? Okay, the E4 is dark. <laughs> so far, no one is lit. Which worries me, at least. Mike, he might be calm. Me, I, I, I'm not so calm in these situations. I'd be freaking out. <laughs> Oh, nice kill, nice kill. 
as you can see, he's just firing AP, which is, is does say something about that gun. It, it has some pretty good damage and pen on that gun, just a pen in E4, like it's nothing. Granted, it, it does look like he got uh, mostly side, almost like a front cog wheel shot, but. What is he doing now? He's still watching. Oh, got something. Oh, nice shot in the mod one. Oh, rain got got by the JPZ E100. Did they see him? Oh, he's got a shot. Nice shot on the JPZ. And he runs immediately. Smart move. But the 704 is still not lit. And right now it's him and the Artie versus two. But he just gets lit, so he knows the 704 is over there and has shots on him. And s smartly, he ducks behind a hill. Nice shot into the 704, and he realizes they're coming for him because they're no longer capping. There's the JPZ, and he misses. And that was the mod one shooting him, it looked like. He's ignoring the mod one, which can be a mistake. But we'll see how it works out for him. But thankfully, the Artie was able to take out the T10 before he died. Nice shot on the JPZ. Oh. Mod one miss. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh. He's getting himself below the JPZ, which is smart. Nice. Killed the JPZ. Nice shot into the lower plate. Now he's only got two tanks to deal with, but it's still, the odds are not with him. It's 704's most. Mostly full health. He got one shot into him. There's the mod one. And he misses. Mod one coming to take a shot. Shooting HE. Usually that's a good idea, but the mod one, I think it was probably a bad idea just because he got such a small gun. Um, but. There goes the mod one. Now the 704. And you can see here he's using the JPZ 100 to use it as basically a building, as cover. Trying to make the 704 because he has a fixed gun to come around on him. Puts a nice shot into the side. 704. N Ooh, knocks out his gun. He repairs it instantly. Oh, but the 704 gets gets around before. That 704 hits him one last time. He is done. But same could say in reverse. And he gets the kill. That was an amazing ending. And you can see here, he ends up with an ace tanker. High caliber. And you'll see here why he ended up with a high caliber. He ended up doing 7,500 damage. A 1410 base uh, experience. And that's an awesome result. You can see here, 
made 41,000 credits even with all that ammo you shot and the repair kits. But remember, if you like this video, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and please tune in for more videos. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.